Hello everybody, my name is Artendris, and welcome back to Persona 5 Tactica. Last time we started off with a bit of Persona fusing, just to like, clear some stuff. We got a couple of cool new ones, like... Seth here is really cool, I really wish you got to see this design in gameplay instead of just right here. But uh, we got some cool new abilities, cool new personas and whatnot. Kind of not the important part of what happened last time though. I think I actually have a skill I need to do too. So, Makoto can get, I suppose just SP for right now. But anyways, after doing a bit of Persona Fusion and we did one of the talk things, what was it? Um, a building full of mystery. We were just talking a bit more about what's going on in like the school around us. But basically we did both of those, then we headed out to the courtyard to start our exploration into the school proper. And in the courtyard there was weeding one of those mysterious stores. And after heading through and taking out a new enemy type inside as well as a small battalion of legionnaires, we acquired the first key. Uh, first of four keys that we need to find the tyrant of this place. And uh... S said key was a bandage, <laughs> or uh, I, I suppose technically a couple of bandages. But um, as soon as we touched them and grabbed them and whatnot, we got greeted by one of Toshiro's memories. And it showed his meeting with a girl named Eri Natsuhara, I believe, who basically looked exactly the same as Arena, just a different hair color and a different outfit. But even personality-wise, it literally was just Arena, <laughs> and her name was literally Airy, and then the first two letters of her last name were Na, N A. So they weren't they weren't very subtle about pretending it wasn't her. So we at least got a little bit more info as to why Arena might be here. We just know that Airy Natsuhara, however, was an important part of his life. We don't have any more details than that. So we assume that once we acquire the rest of the three keys, we'll get a little bit more backstory there, and we'll figure out exactly who Arena is. But uh, other than that, we got that. Toshiro had a Toshiro and Arena both had minor moments going through some stuff. But uh, we decided to head back to the base so that we could talk more in safety about what was going on, and that's about where we ended off last time. So. Immediately going in, we had that one skill thing to do. I believe there's a new quest. I. What should we choose? Yeah, we have a quest that we're going to have to do as well, but Come we do have later. one little talking thing to do first. So thanks instead of sorry. What's this about? Just jump right into it. Airy. Hmm. I'm surprised I forgot someone as headstrong as she was. By the looks of it, you must have gone through a lot, eh? Oh, yes, definitely. My memories are still a little fuzzy, but I'm almost certain of that. Yes, somehow I know that much. Oh. <laughs> she seems the type to do things her own way, huh? Yes, that was just one of the many things I learned from her. There's one story in particular that I remember. It's not particularly exciting, but it did leave a big impression on me. Oh, more backstory, yay. It's gone, where is it? Oh yeah, also, Toshiro and Ari and Eri met because Toshiro got beat up protecting another kid and Eri Eri got interested in him after that. So, uh, and that's hence the bandages that she gave him. But anyways, it's gone. Where is it? Hey. Hey there, Toshiro. Today I want to tackle what to do about students fighting over snacks in the school store. Oh, uh, what's wrong? You look upset. I can't find the student council activity report we drafted, and the deadline to submit it to the school is today. Do you have any idea where it might have gone? You were the last one to handle it. I left it here, right after I finished looking over it during the lunch break. 
but I locked the door, meaning nobody else has been in here since we left. So if that's the case... Uh, wait a minute, you're not saying I was the one who lost it, are you? Wait a minute. Not cool, Toshiro. How could you just assume it was my fault? It's not that I'm blaming you, I just want you to try and remember what you did. Jeez, I know I'm not the most organized person, but now you're making me doubt myself. I've searched the entire room. Maybe it's inside your bag, if you could just check one more time. I left my bag in the classroom during lunch. There's no way I could have... Huh? Uh... Hey! Hey! Hey, Toshiro. Is it just my imagination, or do I see a folder sticking out of your bag? Huh? Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Natsuhara Senpai, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, no need to make that face. People tend to lose track of things that are important to them when they're going through tough times. No, it's not that. I accused you of losing it, even though it was ultimately my fault. I'm really sorry. I'm ashamed of myself for assigning blame without any evidence. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. Alright, alright, enough of that. No, I really am sorry! I'll make sure it never happens again. Seriously? I said enough already. You're banned from saying sorry for the rest of the day. But, uh, but I'm sorry! Listen, Toshiro. How about you try saying thank you instead of I'm sorry? I'd feel a lot happier being told thank you rather than sorry all the time. Huh? Yeah, I suppose thank her for finding it instead of saying sorry that you lost it and blamed it on her. Look, I'll help you. Repeat after me. I love the look on her face, just pure determination. Repeat. Senpai, thank you for helping me realize where the report was. In return, I'll help you do your physics homework. <sighs> Natsuhara Senpai. Um, thank you. Hey, don't mention it. You're right, it does feel nicer this way. Gl <laughs> Glad we're seeing eye to eye. If I ever go into an apologizing frenzy, remind me of this too, alright? I promise I will. Yeah. Excellent. And about doing my homework is thanks. I think I actually need to follow this advice in real life. I think everyone in my family does, because everyone I live with has a very bad habit of saying I'm sorry for the smallest inconveniences. Like, uh, without going into too much detail, my mom was sick today and yesterday, and she apologized like 17 times, not even exaggerating, because she was sick and uh, just lounging about trying to feel better. So, yeah, I think some, I think we all just need to hear that advice every now and again. <laughs> but, but anyways, digressions once more. Yes, about that. Please do your own homework, otherwise you won't learn anything. Don't worry, I'll still help you when you need it. We can even start now if you want. Really? Uh, update is always, eh? <laughs> well, that's it. Hey, yeah, just thank me for doing that and do my homework. Um, thanks for finding it, but you do your own. <laughs> Mm, she's a pretty good senpai, huh? That's right. Well, she certainly was a unique one. She was able to change my perspective and frame of mind so easily. But she also taught me how to better communicate with others. Hmm. What's wrong, Arena? Everything okay? Oh, 
Um, it's nothing. What if... But don't you think it's about time we start looking for those keys? It's not like we have a ton of time. You're right, sorry for the long story. No sweat! Share some- share more stories about you and Nasahara once you were- Oh, words are hard. No sweat! Share more stories about you and Nasuhara with us when you re when you remember, huh? Yeah? <laughs> I could not finish that sentence. <laughs> when you remember, yeah? Understood. I will, and if and when I remember. Natsuhara-senpai. Um, thank you. I get a cold sweat and the sides of my ribs start hurting like crazy, as if I sprinted for two hours straight. You gotta be kidding. Eesh, that sounds like some trauma. Party, re party received 3 GP. <laughs> Is that enough to get new things for anyone? I don't think it will be. Ah, Yusuke can actually get something. Um, is that extra knockback? I don't think I really care about that. Um, do I want to switch some things around so I can afford the extra movement space, though? Or do I want to focus on other stuff? Um... What do I want to give you? Um... Do I want to upgrade one of your skills? Actually, I can upgrade both of your skills using this, so... Sure, I'll give you Freeze Boo, so now your Bufula and your Mabufu are a little bit stronger. So I think that's good there. And obviously we have the next main mission to go through, but that's a battle, not a story, so let's start off with the quest. What should we choose? Haru asks Yusuke for help with maneuvering around her axe, and we'll get 20 GP for Haru and 20 GP for Yusuke. A balancing axe. Okay. Yusuke, Maharu, and one other. Defeat enemies in four turns. Got it. Let's go. I'll be counting on you. Hey! May I speak with you for a moment? Hmm? Sure, what is it? Well, I noticed you're very agile. Could you teach me how to move like that? Since I'm not very fast on my feet, I sometimes fall short before reaching an enemy. I've noticed Haru is the slowest party member. I had to do some extra work to get her extra movement spaces. <laughs> so that's it. I see. Your heavy equipment probably makes it hard for you to move swiftly. Mm, yeah, since I have to carry an axe and a launcher, it ends up weighing me down. Um... Throw your axe around, then. How about changing weapons? You're fine as you are. Um... Throw your axe around, then. Throwing axes, yay. Whoa! <laughs> oh, ho, ho. you could attach change to the handle and swing it around like a morning star. That sounds really dangerous. I might end up hitting you all, too. Oh, oh. Eureka, I've got it! The universe! You have to become a black hole, Haru. Huh? Uh? Oh, I see. Actually, I don't get it at all. Could, could you elaborate on that? It's simple. Instead of trying to get to where your enemies are, you will lure them to you instead. Good idea. That way, your speed won't matter. Your enemies will always be right in front of you. That's oh, good points. You're right. That's something my persona is capable of. Let's test it out. Will you assist me? Of course. Certainly. I'll support whenever needed. Oh yeah, Haru's persona does Sayo moves that end up drawing enemies closer in, so that makes sense. There was that one place we could go in and out of as we pleased, remember? How about we test it out there? Understood. Let's head over straight away. <laughs> A black hole that blooms on Earth. I must witness this moment of the century with my own eyes. Ah, uh, Yusuke. Oh, he's just a little over the top. 
Come on, there we go. <laughs> Defeat all enemies within four turns, obviously no extra objectives. Three of us start up. We all start up here and we got all the enemies in front of us and then off to the side. Um, sure I'll run Makoto with these two, why not? Okay. Whenever you're ready, Black Hole Noir. <laughs> <laughs> A black hole, huh? I'll suck everything in. Here it goes. Okay, so... Mapsy would get all three of those moving. I could Sayo you, which will move you forward, but then you'll jump over the edge. Um... Hold on, how far is Megiddo range? Not quite long enough. I am now. Bufula. Oh wait, no, that's gonna freeze it, isn't it? Dang it! Sometimes I forget about that. Rayla on all of you. Then Makoto. I don't want to do this. Fire! Uh, run over here, I suppose. Or do I just fire on it from here? That works. This, unless it starts spawning more, this looks like it's going to be a pretty simple one. Um... Sayo from here. That should get it in range for Yusuke to shoot and kill, no problem. Oh, get him. So, Yusuke starts running down. Yusuke can only reach here, so never mind. So, I guess Makoto does this. That means Yusuke can shoot from here. Which then, of course, allows him to run even further down. Just reach here. Mabufu. I think Haru has probably served her purpose in this battle. Like, these two can probably deal with them, no problem. Yeah, like, Mako uh, Haru can't even reach the thing. Mobsy. Oh, it only dragged one of them away, sadly. Fire. She did a good job of drawing it out, though, so that's, I suppose, like the black hole Yusuke was going after. I think I cleared it in the turn amount it wanted me to. I had four turns, I did it in two. Yep, 4670 again. We got a Phantom Thieves level and just some level up. Um, some experience on Personas, nothing special. I suppose it was turn 3 instead of turn 4. But there we go, full clear. Oh wow, I got a whole bunch of them. That's great. This is great. I managed to overcome my slow speed without having to give up my axe. Hmm. You seem awfully attached to your axe. Is it of significant sentimental value to you? Sure. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've loved chopping wood since I was young, so I'm pretty used to handling an axe. When my father found out about it, he forbade me to continue, but I would still sneak out into the garden to chop. I see. I see, but w what made you go to such lengths? I think a small part of me wanted to rebel. But... But actually, one of my helpers told me my father had known about it all along. Um, open affection wasn't easy for him. He let you get away with it? Indeed. It was probably his way of providing a tiny concession to his daughter who lacked freedom. Even though it was he himself who placed the shackles, 
He had his own way of showing love. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I feel a strong sense of attachment to axes. It reminds me of my courage and my father's kindness. <laughs> Weapons can harbor warm sentiments too. I learned something worthwhile today. Okay. You also gave me a great name for this skill. I can't wait to help everyone with my axe in the black hole. <laughs> wait, I'm getting inspiration for your next skill. I call it the Phantom Celestial Body, White Hole Noir. <laughs> Uh, Haru and Yusuke receive 20 GP. Sweat drops coming from Joker there like, oh no, what have we done? We let Yusuke work. <laughs> Anyways, blah. words are hard. Just completely blanked on words for a second there. Haru can get something new now. Increase skill range by one. When attacking multiple targets, HP and SP are stores proportionally to the number of targets. Let's go with that. I think I want to get everyone the special passive if I can. It's 30 for Yusuke. If I give up the HP, I can get it. Chance to knock down target when shooting from high ground. Okay, so if you even, even if Yusuke's if Yusuke's above something, he can, he can knock someone down even if he shoots them while undercover. Got it. It says only a chance though, so maybe not all the time. That should do. And I think that just leaves us with the next actual mission, which is going to be a battle. So sure, let's just run straight into it. This will progress the story. Is this okay? Sure. Looking at the times, depending on how long this section is, this might become a two-part episode. So, what's next on the docket for this key hunt? The next key is located in the cafeteria. Okay. The cafeteria, you say? How do the meal plans work here? If I can't enroll, could I at least start a tab? Yusuke. Art and food. That's all he cares about, isn't it? You should, I suppose the two go hand in hand. Rain it in, Inari. Let's focus on the job first, all right? <laughs> He's shaking. And I'm sure your tab at Kose is bad enough already. Considering how hostile this place can get, you better not try sneaking any food. <laughs> right? Well, I can understand getting hungry, but we've got a job waiting for us in that cafeteria. He is still shaking. Hmm. Huh? What is it, Toshiro? I had to wager. I guess it's on the second floor. Is that right? That's correct. Just go up the nearest stairwell, continue on straight, and you'll find it. Huh. Are, are schools... Uh, well, I imagine they probably are. Are schools, like, situated differently in Japan? I've never heard of a school having a cafeteria on the second floor. I've only ever seen them on the first. Or the ground level, I suppose. Sounds like you already knew that, though. So you better not waste any more time and just get going. Did, didn't I? Whatever the case may be, we should get going. I'm a. We should. Why? Why wasn't that voiced? That's not the name I gave it. I. I think. Oh wait, no, no, it is. Never mind. The the I forgot the game asked for both first and last name. I kept the canon last name and just put in Arden. For a second, I thought it had the only had the canon last name, and then it was already there. I don't know. Or, uh, oh, never. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, continue on. Way, if you don't mind, if everyone's ready. Okay, Toshiro. The big shock. This school is actually important to his backstory. <laughs> this floor of the building ultimately looks the same as the last. The cafeteria should be just ahead. Let's hurry. Uh, hey. Toshiro, is this the same school that you went to? Yes. It's been quite some time since I graduated, but I can tell that I'm slowly starting to remember. Okay. It may be distorted or inaccurate here and there, but I can say with absolute certainty that this is the same building. Any idea who could be in charge here? An evil principal? 
remember anyone who caused problems for you? Maybe the other students? No, it hasn't all come back yet. Oh, static. Scum. Hello. I can't believe it's you. So you're the low lives disturbing my sacred place. Ah, uh, rude. Ryuji has no problem talking smack to anyone, does he? You idiot. You have no idea what that would do. Huh? Who are you already? Who am I? <laughs> you mean you've forgotten? Yes, yes he has. That's what amnesia does. But you're the one who knows me best. I know. Once again, it's, uh, censored his name. Or their name. <laughs> I guess that's it. Whoever it was, it sounded like he recognized me. Damn it, if only I could remember. <sighs> it's okay, Toshiro. Uh, suppose this is the first unknown kingdom ruler we've encountered. Yep, it's okay, Toshiro. We'll find him and face him down, and I suppose, and we'll learn who it is by then. No, I wonder who it is. We're likely coming to blows with another eccentric character, like Maria and Yoshiki were. He's the one making life tough for those guys back in the hideout, yeah? Yep. Well, I'm all for punching the guy out, but we need to collect whatever these keys are supposed to be for that to happen. I'm picking up a big open space just ahead of us. I'm gonna assume that's probably the cafeteria. Looks like Toshiro was right on the money. That's our next destination. Okay, Toshiro, lead the way. Cafeteria. So this is their cafeteria? Oh, it's pretty huge. It certainly feels like the quintessential cafeteria. This room has the nicest vibe of the whole building. Ah, I believe I'm remembering more now. Oh? <laughs> the food here was quite popular, especially for the price. I heard that this place was constantly packed with students in lines during lunchtime. You heard? So you never actually ate here? I was never one for crowded places like this. Same. From what I remember, I was always cooped up in the student council room with a homemade bento. Boy, do I relate to that. <laughs> Cafeterias are for normies. Definitely not my kind of scene. So many people in cafeterias. <laughs> I'd probably explode if I ever got forced to eat in one! Uh, it's not life or death. It's just a food room. Ryuji, you're not an introvert. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm not as bad as Futaba, but I feel the same way. Look, another one of those doors. Here we go. Is it this is gonna be like a bunch of cotton swabs or something? <laughs> Here we go. The next door that will hold one of these very special keys to unlocking the bad guys and Toshiro's memories. <laughs> what have we got? Two big bads, two shooters, and we got some of the uh, speakers in this one. Uh, we'll run Arena. Uh, uh, Arena, Ryuji, and Arden, I suppose? Why not? Clear within seven turns with no one getting KO'd. Got it. 
start the battle. Ranged attacks prohibited. That was loud. No shooting allowed. Rude. Better get ready. Uh. That loudspeaker, it's saying something again. Mm. Whoever it is, they're certainly not giving us a warm welcome. It's different from what we heard earlier. Shooting's not allowed. Sound good? Just be careful. Make sure you aim for the speaker, too. Um, I think I might just ignore the speakers. They have a lot of health. Um, All right. okay, if the other elevator goes down, then this one will get yeah, out of cover. Who do I want to push where? I can't, I think that's the same color elevator. So if MC goes on there, yeah, that one goes up. And then there's another one there as well, right? Yes. Here I go. Okay, Get so All right. I don't want to do this. You can go here. Take that. <laughs> Avoid standing in that. Run up. I do. I shoot and suffer the consequences. Ah, I was hoping it would jump down off the edge, but it didn't. Fire on you, I suppose. Currently, that only hits one of the Mega Horns and the one right next to Arena. Okay. Um... I don't want to do this. Great partisan on one of you two. Um, like so? That means that we can Ryuji reach with the Zianga on you. No, sadly, that means the main character is going to be in a bit of trouble on their turn. And I can't reach any buttons with Ryuji, so... I suppose just like that. I'll run Ryuji. Oh, guard broken. Um... This, this is definitely going to be a bit of trouble. Rude. Okay, they didn't quite reach, which is good. Okay, so Here I go. Now it's my turn. Like so. All right. Do that. It's the hit the mark. All right. Um I don't want to do this. All right, let's No, I this. think I I want Ryuji up on that level. Better get ready. That kills it. Um, I don't want to do this. All right. This. Now it's my turn. Ryuji gets down here. Show me what you got. Will that actually knock it off the edge? It will. All right, let's do this. So Ryuji just needs to get into a spot where here he I could. Go. Ah, there he's just outside of range to actually do that, isn't he? No matter how I do this. Um Ah, this is a little sad. I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanted to here. Um Huh. If I had arena stand here. And then just like great partisan this one. Be no mercy. What was I, doing? Better get ready. I can probably get Ryuji to Let's also Zianga it. Okay, that killed it. We get it once more. 
Uh, I don't quite have the range I was hoping for. Time to go wild. So I guess I just do a little bit of damage, extra damage to whoever I can. Why can't I do a triple threat attack here? <laughs> I feel like I should be able to. That will hit Arena, which is bad. Let's get in there. So I guess just stand here and do some extra damage to someone. Not quite what I wanted to get done this turn, but it's fine enough, I suppose. This is bad, actually. Actually, those things aren't doing much damage, so it could be worse. Five turns, we should be more than fine to finish everything up here. So... Let's get Ryuji standing here. Now I do this. Do a lot of damage, plus Arena still gets against me once more. Um... Can I not get into any good position for an all-out attack, though? It doesn't look like. Why isn't that an all-out attack? This being a bit weird. It's sometimes it doesn't let me do it, and it, I don't really understand why. <laughs> um, I don't want to do this. That. Arena can great shining partisan on both of you. She gets another once more, plus does major damage to those two. Now she can triple threat attack. No idea why she couldn't before. That'll definitely kill both of you. And I doubt I can get Ryuji in a better position than that. So, uh, that'll do. Ryuji kills off the buff one. Next turn, someone just takes a single pot shot at the last one. I think Ryuji is fine even without being in cover. Rude. Ranged attacks prohibited. There's one more left. I don't think we care about that. Thanks, Futaba, though. Fall. Oh! That's bad. That is really bad. Uh, oh, it's one of the teleporters, too. Get ready. Ryuji still has actions. So, how do I want to do this? All right. now it's my turn. What is... Show what we got. Okay, Ryuji can hit all five of them. That's good. So if I do that, the teleporting one will switch spots. Take that trigger, kid. I think Arena should be able to kill off all of them. Show me what you've got. Actually, that's... Um... That's worth considering. Probably not exactly what I'm after, though. I don't want to do this. Can Arena afford using one Great Partisan on all of them. Yes, she can. That's probably going to be the most amount of damage I can pull off. Using one Great Partisan on everyone. Unless I can get a good triple threat attacks position. Okay, those two can just die. Why isn't that a good triple threat? I don't understand. So currently, that is my best thing to do. Use a great partisan on everyone else. That's good. On you. A great shining partisan on those three. That will leave. That will leave one enemy standing. Um. Do I want to do that? 
Don't want to do that. That'll do an okay amount of damage to some of the others. Great Shining Partisan. She gets one more move, but can't possibly kill both of them. But that's... That is the best I could manage on that turn. It was very good. Ow, rude. That, that was a good turn, but not quite as good as it could have possibly been. But I, I, I think I managed that very well. I couldn't have managed it much better. After making a, that mistake with Joker to start it off. But, uh, 69, 60 yen, and level 55 Phantom Thieves. We got a Sar Sarasvati and a Rangada. Interesting. Loading. Autosave. <laughs> and that settles the matter. Now, for this second so-called key. Oh? Look! Over there! Da 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 Student Council suggestion box. <laughs> oh, I remember learning about this in history class. Uh, something in the Edo period. It's a suggestion box. No one can figure that out based off the writing on it. <laughs> Basically, it's a way to collect people's complaints and requests anonymously. Although. This one appears to be empty. Think this will jog any memories, Joshiro? I can't say for sure, but it's the same as last time. Touching it. Here we go. Yep, you called it. <laughs> Sad music. I suppose mellow music. Not not fully sad, but there is a sad tinge to it, I suppose. I pulled an all-nighter on a mock exam. Ah, <sighs> hundreds exams might be important, but that doesn't change the fact that they suck. Overnight cramming is actually counterproductive. Sleep is necessary for committing what you've learned to memory. You might make it by cramming for regular tests, but comprehensive ones like entrance exams require long-term memory for any chance. Okay. Oh good, I can get some shut-eye during this lecture. <laughs> I don't give you lectures, I give you advice, which you clearly need. If anything, I should lecture you on how to take advice properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It literally is just arena. <laughs> By the way, I noticed earlier. The suggestion box has been awfully empty lately. If I had to guess, I'd say it's because we've taken care of everything by now. You're going to run yourself ragged if you're always looking for trouble to clean up, Aerie. You're saying I should turn a blind eye to people in need? That'll run me even more ragged. <sighs> Please, try putting yourself in my shoes for once. Okay. Though, so, Ari really likes helping people, which is good. Unless it's everything you do, and you give too much of yourself, and Toshiro's left to deal with cleanup. Can't you just enjoy the peace and quiet as the fruits of your labor? I sure hope you're right. But something's still bugging me. Isn't the vibe at school kind of... weird now? Weird? Oh. Come in! Hi. Hello. Uh, someone said that you guys hear out people in trouble? Yep, whatever it is, you can lay it on your future prime minister here. Don't say such ridiculous things. Oh, Toshiro becoming prime minister? That'll never happen. How come? 
One day, you'll be a Diet member, and then you'll make Prime Minister, yeah? Hm. I've never said anything of the sort. What? You don't remember your speech? Psst. I'll never take favors from my father. I'll stand on my own two feet. <laughs> I've definitely never said that. You must do the worst impression I've ever seen. <laughs> Their fun bickering is, is, is nice and all, but um, there's currently someone waiting for them to help. Waiting for them to help her. Blech. Huh? Objection, Your Honor. Wait, is that a prime minister or a judge? That's a judge. Um... Oh, sorry, sorry. Here, grab a seat and hit us with the deets. Vice Principal Nakabachi's been blackmailing students and staff here? Oh, okay, so it's not going to be a principal, it's going to be the vice principal. Okay. <sighs> I was such an idiot. I thought my chances at college, my whole life, would be over if the school found out I'd been working at a nightclub. And when Nakabachi stumbled onto your secret, he proposed a deal to keep you off the hook. He ordered you to dig up dirt on other students and report back to him, correct? Then he'd use that information to pressure them into bringing him even more dirt on other people. He just kept creating more and more victims until eventually he even had the teachers under his thumb. There's no way to tell who's working for Nakabachi, so I didn't know who to trust with this. And it's all my fault! I did something so stupid just to pay my tuition! <laughs> It's... Mm. I have actual disgust towards this vice principal. <laughs> Sorry for melting down like that. So, um... Now what? Yeni Kur Kurano, a female student from Toshiro's high school. Nakabachi caught wind of her breaking school rules and blackmailed her into acting as a spy. Eventually, she became overwhelmed by guilt and went to Toshiro and Eri, who were then on the student council, breaking down in tears and pleading for their help. <sighs> Thank you for telling us. I know it wasn't easy. This is a pretty huge issue, so it's gonna take some time, but we'll handle it. I don't care what happens to me anymore. So please, I'm begging you, please! Don't worry. Nakabachi was hired here very recently, but he was promoted to vice principal right away. It may have been unexpected, but nobody would guess this was how he pulled it off. Any student here would be terrified to lose their college prospects. It's no wonder how he was able to exploit that. That's just sick. How could he use people and torture them like that? It sounds like the entire school's in a bizarre standoff. What with everyone spying on each other for Nakabachi. This certainly explains why you felt something off here. Indeed it does. And why no one's been coming to a student council for help, because everyone's afraid of who's actually working for who. That said, this is clearly beyond the scope of what the student council can handle. If we make one wrong move, we could be done for ourselves. I doubt Eerie cares much about that. What's your take, Eerie? Eerie? <sighs> um, I think Eerie wants to murder the vice principal. Oh, I agree. God. <laughs> I am so pissed right now. I don't care how badly Nakabachi wants to be in charge. He has no right to put Yuri through that kind of hell. I thought schools and the staff were supposed to protect students. But not this messed up place. The way he's running this school now, it's like his own little dictatorship or something. He's done for if he's really doing this. Toshiro, you've got to help me. I thought you'd say as much. <laughs> um, 
Toshiro, calm her down a little. Because <laughs> I said she wants to murder the vice principal as a joke. Mostly. I'm not thinking it's a joke anymore. <laughs> From the sounds of things, you're looking to assemble a full-on rebellion. We don't know anyone like that. Toshiro, that's exactly it. We'll start a rebellion. Oh, great idea. Please don't take my jokes at face value. At any rate, we're going to investigate this. I have to know the truth. Okay. Right. Nakabachi. Our our first revolution chronologically. Ichiro Nakabachi. He was just a run of the mill music teacher who got promoted to vice principal out of the blue. After hearing Yuri's story, Harry and I went around the school investigating. Turning up leads wasn't easy, but Harry was persistent enough that we eventually had a grasp of the situation. Simply put, the results were jaw-dropping. He literally had dirt on everyone, didn't he? Sexual harassment, embezzlement, extortion, other abuses of power. All of it being covered up by the administration. And to top it all off, Nakabachi had been promised a promotion to principal. He essentially had full reign of the school. Ugh, another turd for a teacher. Ichiro Nakabachi. The vice principal of Toshiro's high school. As crooked as they come, he covered up his extensive track record of abuse, including harassment and embezzlement by blackmailing students. The world's a big place. They can offer plenty of pieces of shit to run their schools. I, everyone here feels exactly the same way as Ari did and as I do, so we're all in agreement. If we find the dude, we beat him up. Blackmail his own student. I can't imagine how Yuri felt at the time. But Nakabachi had covered his tracks, so ultimately we weren't able to collect any conclusive evidence. Without concrete proof, we had to put our hopes on the victim's testimonies. What is it? Did they testify? Everyone was too afraid, I assume. I'm sorry. I can't remember the rest. Well... I certainly learned enough this time around to put one question to bed. I'd wager that the ruler of this kingdom is Vice Principal Nakabachi. And I bet you're right. Yeah, let's wrap this up so we can get out of here already. Well, at least we've got an idea of who might be running this place. Plus the second key to boot. Let's go back to the hideout so we can hammer out our next steps. You got it. We got a name, now we just need to face the punch. Persona obtained. We got new talking. Next thing is going straight into the hunt for the third key. It's looking like we're not stopping much for talking oh, missions anymore. Later. You're just heading straight into the battle after battle. But uh, I don't think that... Oops, I meant to go into skills. I don't think this should have updated... Oh, it did. Might as well just do this real quick while we're here. Maybe Joker can only afford this, so might as well for now. Um, Morgana can get upgrade to Magarula. Panther gets something. Uh, I could switch things around to get her this instead, probably. Uh, just upgrade her Femme Fatale. I haven't used it much, really. I've used it, like, once successfully. Um, upgrade increases power of Brigantine Blitzkrieg. Ryuji's special move is actually really cool, so upgrading that. I've used it, I've used it a couple of times, but never to great success, because it hits everything in a line, but doesn't do much damage, so making it stronger will make it even more useful to use. But, uh, I suppose looking at the time, that's probably a pretty good place to end things off. So I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and I hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody.